keeping in mind that this only launched back in late 2014 in the US. Um, so it's just been coming along rapidly. Here in Australia, you may have noticed that um, we did a big sponsorship um, via Alexa of the Block. Um, and it seems logical that we should have a skill that allow people to ask what happened on the block last night, who won bathroom week, and it's all voiced by Scotty Cam. If you listen to that skill just voiced by Alexa, and then compare how it sounds with it being voiced by Scotty Cam, because we did a prototype version at first with Nye just to work it out, um, there's just no doubt that the advantage that you have with having access to talented or recognised voices can really bring to life whatever you create. And I really think that that puts this room in particular in an advantageous um, position. People like familiar voices. They like people who know how to talk well and project well. Alexa's great in small doses, um, but you know you don't really want her going on for hours and hours. We talked before about um, athletes' voice um, as well. So some really good examples of what's going on here in Australia and also um, around the world. One thing that we know with Alexa is that people love asking what's on in their city, they love asking about celebrity gossip, they love catching up on stuff that they might have missed earlier in the day, um, they love comedy, monologues and jokes. These are all really popular usage models um, for Alexa owners. Um, any opportunity to talk, to talk back and have two-way flow and dialogue um, is something that's a little bit more sophisticated to do technically, but if you can pull it off and have a great idea to support doing that, um, we know that people love that two-way banter. Um, and also like catching up on highlights and facts of the days. Um, anything that allows you to time shift so that you can feel current um, is popular. So with all of that in mind, when does it make sense to build your own Alexa skill for your customers um, or for your brand? Well, we would recommend that you should choose voice when it makes it um, easier to access content you already had. I think the radio app skill is a great example of that. Like, it's just easier to say, Alexa, tune in to my favourite radio station than it is to go and tune into my favourite radio station. It just makes it easier. It also makes it more pervasive because suddenly I, get, I can get Alexa, um, I can get radio app anywhere in the house. Um, I'm no longer just like tethered to having to be um, wherever the, my radio typically is. Um, where it makes it faster to get the content, content. So checking in with Virgin Airlines, you know, you might go, well, you know, it's easy to just check into my app, but it's not really. When you're running around the house trying to get out the door, it's actually really easy to say, Alexa, check me into my flight. I don't have to get my phone, I don't have to swipe, so sure, I could still do it on my phone, um, but if I had the ability to just ask, it makes it faster.